Hi, this is Dr. Sponberg. I'm here to go over uh, English 101 for week two with you. Again, I'm starting out here to remind you to avoid this very messy and uninformative um, activity stream. It's messy. It doesn't tell you everything that's available to you. Um, instead, click on Courses and click on the course that you're entering, whether it's one of my two in-person 101s or my online 101. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open my online 101. The content is the same and the way we work through the class is the same. So first I want to remind you to check your announcements. Um, there are several here um, and in these I'm trying to communicate with you things that I think will help you pass the class and understand what you're trying to do. Um, especially these how to succeed in um, like while well, you're watching it now so I'm preaching to the choir. but. Make sure you're reading all of those announcements, okay? You've got a new one here about criterion access information updated, um, and you'll have uh, some others throughout week two. Um, I see some things coming, uh, and I'll make sure to send them to you um, through these announcements. These announcements also do go to your Lawson State student email, so make sure that you're reading those as well. All right, by now you should have finished everything in the Start Here menu. For my online students, that means taking the syllabus agreement quiz, the criterion use quiz, and the proctor U readiness quiz. Now my in-person students are simply taking the syllabus agreement quiz and the criterion use quiz because I will proctor them during exams instead of proctor you. But my online students, make sure you've taken all three of the quizzes in the start here module, please. Um, if you do need to join a help session, they are available. Um, please remember to use this button on uh, Instructor Information and Contact Hours. I'm going to go over with you again. Um, this is my email. If you need to reach me by email, please, please use this. Do not use Blackboard messages. I'll talk to you about that again in a second, but there are absolutely no notifications when you send me a message in Blackboard, so I check them once a day. Um, if you need me to respond to you, quickly or and sometimes I forget I'll be honest um, so please make sure that you're sending me an email these ping my phone wherever I am and you get a very quick response um, I do have a Google voice number and you are able to use that it's usually faster to reach me by email though because I can subtly uh, answer an email in a meeting that I can't take a phone call in um, so make sure that you're doing that. Remember, I have help sessions every day of the work week, Monday at 1, Wednesday at 1, and Thursday at 1. So if you need to take a lunch break, um, hop in with me. Um, and then on Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. Um, and uh, Fridays at 9 a.m. Um, if you need a Zoom help session sometime other than the times that I've listed, please email me and just set one up. All right. Um, so again, please don't use the Blackboard messages. Uh, it doesn't alert me. You can see there's no number here. It doesn't tell me I have a message from you in any way. All right, we are in weekly assignments and we are opening week two. Um, and we're going to go through this. There are several things to do. There's a checklist and there will be this video going over what to do. Um, I want you to join Remind. Um, each class has their own code, so I'm not going to open it and go over the code, but the instructions for joining Remind are here in week two. And there is a quiz. Now, in this quiz, please listen to me, please. You're going to get a two and a half at first. And then next week, in week three, when I go in and grade everything, I'm going to read your responses and see what's going on with you and Remind, and then I'm going to bump it up to a 10. Um, out of 10 if you took the quiz. So please don't let the two and a half on the quiz throw you. You're not going to be stuck with it. I will fix it in week three when I grade your work from week two. All right? You have two videos to watch. One is on academic integrity and one is on the writing process. There is a quiz on those later in the, in the module. So please make sure you've watched the videos before you take this quiz. Um, there are two things to read here, and they are to start giving you ideas about the conversation that we're having and the essay that we're building. Um, so please make sure that you do read those. Um, and then in discussion board, 
Um, you are typing a list of 10 to 15 ways life has changed for you since the start of the COVID outbreak. Now, those can be very mundane ways, um, like uh, the way you go to school has changed. Um, you've got to wear masks now. Uh, when you go to stores, maybe I, uh, elements of your job have changed. Maybe the way you interact with family members has changed. Um, but things have changed. Some things have changed permanently. Um, so uh, give that some real thought. Um, if you are doing an alternative subject, you need to brainstorm uh, ideas for that uh, alternative subject. The guidance here is all for the uh, topic that I have assigned. Um, okay, um, quiz number for week two covers the week two instructional videos. Again, those are up here, so make sure you watch those, please, before you take this quiz on them. Um, you do have two attempts. Um, if you don't pass the first time, please review the videos before you take it again. Um, and then your assignment is to use the feedback that you've gotten from your peers um, to build a paragraph. Now, I see some people have already participated in the week two discussion board, and I want to talk to you about that for a second. I know that you can go to this discussion boards area and just do anything, but I want you to read this. It says, please do not work ahead in discussion boards. Do the current week only. Doing a discussion board early is like arriving a week early to a party. The host isn't ready for you yet. Access to the current discussion, go to the weekly assignments. Please don't use this. I want you to go to content and I want you to use the weekly assignments and go here every time, okay? Not to discussions. You can look at your grade book. Don't go to messages. Send me an email instead, okay? But don't go to discussions. You can look at your calendar. You can look at your grade book and you can look at content. Um, but I want you entering everything you do here, okay? If you work ahead on a discussion board, you might have your work deleted because maybe I'm going to update what we do and what I'm asking you to do. I go through each week before I make it visible to students and make sure that it fits for where you are and what we're doing this semester. So you might be doing something that I'm about to change. So please don't work ahead on the discussion boards just because you can click on this. I need you to start reading these things. These things are here for your benefit, okay? Um, so if I ask you not to do something yet, it's because it might not be what I really want you to do. So that's why I haven't opened the content yet, okay? Um, all right, so uh, everything I do is for your benefit. Um, so you got to follow me and stay with me, please. Um, all right, uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, open week two now. You can work on it over the weekend, but if you have questions about it, um, please make sure that you ask those questions during the week um, before you head home for the second weekend of week two, which is when everything is due. So you'll see things are due Sunday for the most part, um, but we do have a Wednesday deadline for that week two discussion board. All right, so as we enter week two, week two officially starts on Sunday the 29th, um, and it closes on uh, Sunday the 5th, and this keeps... <laughs> I'm going to fix this later. If you have questions for me, uh, definitely reach out to me and ask them. Um, make sure you're reading your announcements. Make sure you are entering your work from the weekly assignments. Make sure you are not working ahead in the discussion board and making sure you send me an email if you need me rather than going to messages. All right, y'all, reach out to me. Come to one of the help sessions if you need some help, uh, and I am here to help you.